What up guys, welcome back to Penguin and the Twins, welcome back to another video. I hope each and every one of you are having an absolutely blessed day, through my God's grace. Praise the Lord for this day, you know, this is the day the Lord's made, we will rejoice be glad in it, Psalm 18, 24. And for this video we are doing, who, who are you taking, Steve Smith Sr. or Torrey Holt? These are both great receivers, and they're kind of underrated at their time, they like, if more people knew them, but nowadays, you know, different, different receivers nowadays, obviously, and just, you know, different ways how they play the game now. But, you know, both great receivers, and both can make a case to be a Hall of Famer, I feel like. I feel like Steve Smith should be more of a Hall of Famer. Torrey Holt could make a case for it, too, I feel like, because their stats show it, and the way they played shows it, too. They were great receivers, so both should be Hall of Famers, Lord Rowan, but God's will be done. I do like what Torrey Holt did. I think he was a consistent receiver and was kind of underrated, but I'm going to go with Steve Smith Sr. here on this one a lot of S's, but yeah, I think he was also a really good, consistent receiver during that time, and just was overall a really good player, but yeah, I'm going to go with Steve Smith on this one. Steve Smith Sr. or Torrey Holt, can't really go wrong on this one with these two receivers. Uh, overall, these were two receivers were very talented, but I'm going to have to go Steve Smith Sr. I mean, stat-wise, he kind of has the edge for me with all those, you know, receiving yards and touchdowns and you know great stats but both these receivers were definitely very talented but i feel like steve smith senior is like everything you want in a receiver very consistent and overall a great receiver but once again you can't really go wrong with this one but overall i'm gonna have to go steve smith senior on this one i think it is pretty close one i think it's a really close one because both receivers were really good and both receivers did things differently but they both did it great at what they did you know when uh, for their time and everything, they did it really good. And I gotta go with Steve Smith. I mean, the dude was not that tall for a receiver. Um, he's probably about 5'9 area. And he made plays. Steve Smith made plays. And he was a shorter right receiver. He shows you that height can be, can be overrated, you know? And he was an underrated height. And he just made plays. And he was a great player. Steve Smith Sr. was a great player. And hopefully he makes it to the Hall of Fame. We're rowing. Now, Tory Holt, don't be wrong. Great receiver. Great hands. I mean, he had fantastic hands. Great route runner. But, you know, I just feel like I'd rather take Steve Smith Sr. on this one. Just because he, like, even though he wasn't that tall, he still made a ton of plays. He had great speed. Tory Holt did, too. Don't get me wrong. But I just feel like Steve Smith Sr. just, like, he just came back and just performed. Same for Tory Holt. But... I think I'd really just, opinion-wise, would rather have Steve Smith Sr. Torrey Holt, great receiver, though. God has blessed him. He also had Isaac Bruce um, for that, for his time in L.A., if I'm not mistaken. Or, or the Rams. Yeah, when he was with the Rams, he had Isaac Bruce, Bruce as another receiver with him. So, But I got, I got to go with uh, Steve Smith Sr. Except Jesus. God bless you all. See you guys. We're out. God bless.